We have treated our cousins in fur and feather so horribly that without one doubt, if they ever will formulate a religion, they will pick the devil in human form. We rip skin out of the animals. We turn them in jackets. We steal their children. We rip out families from each other. We commodified them and view them like objects. And we murder them, we rape them. Look to what we do to the animals. And then look to what humans do to other humans. How they view us inferior. And you see that the main assets of all hatred, all discrimination, have his roots. It all comes from the way humans treat creatures that they are seen in their eyes to be inferior on arbitrary criteria. Historically, the positions of sexism and racism being challenged by um, being uh, challenged by decreasing the superiority of the uh, of women and black people, and the superiority of the and increasing the superiority of the slave masters. If we want or ever want to have peace on this planet, we have to learn to respect all innocent living beings. All beings I have nothing harmed, attentional somebody else ever in the whole life. We have to learn to respect cows and view them not like commodities. We have to learn to love pigs and don't view them like bacon or like um, Something like that. This way of looking to animals is totally psychopathic and insane. They've been living creatures with a central nervous system that want to be loved, that want to be with their family members, or that wants to be protected and don't want to be treated like nothing. Their bodies don't belong to humans. Their bodies belong to themselves. Their bodies don't belong to humans. Just like the bodies of women don't belong to men, just like the bodies of slaves of black people don't belong to white people. Just like homosexuals be not objects for uh, heterosexuals. Go just a week. Is it so hard for humans to choose compassion over industrialized violence? That the majority do it. Don't mean shit sorry for my hard words but it don't mean anything being in a majority is no guarantee of being on the right side of justice it only means that you have been in the majority nothing more nothing less
and around whole history. Human sexual that are nothing being once only begin on the right side of justice. How give about the masters when the slaves be the ones that been oppressed? How give about the tormentors, the rapists, the abusers when their victims be the one that need your voice? How give about murderers and destroy and this empower the victims. I'll give about any of the victimizers. Become time to evolve. And oppose all forms of injustice. And become the moral and rational beings that we always claim to be. Extend to play watch sorry circles with it. It stands to let the status quo just like he be. All true have always to pass to three stages. First, to be marked and ridiculed. Yeah. People make always fun of things that are not understand, spectacular if it being kind to somebody else. Second, it been violently opposed because most people don't like to change and they want to have the status quo never changed. Finally, it been accepted as self effort Nobody challenge. Uh, nobody challenge him. There is no question about it anymore. In the society, evolve. It can sometimes take ten, hundreds, sometimes even billions of years to let this circle go to its end point. My question is, where be you on this circle of evolving exception and morality? Kindness is a choice for 100%. So is violence, so is empathy. So is apathy, 100%. So don't ask for compassion. If you don't think even willing to give compassion yourself. And go vegan. And oppose discrimination by root, by speciesism. 